Well, welcome home. Yes, welcome home. Gary, Stacy, Spirit, and Sophie. We're taking our motor home around the country. Throughout North America, we're on the road. It's Powhana Travels, here we go. It's a little different. Yeah, the bathroom's a lot further away. The kitchen's a lot further away. The living the living's a lot further away. But I do miss the motorhome already, yeah, though. We have the beauty of our yard <laughs> and house and all that to enjoy for a little while. Well, welcome to a real-time update. Today mm -hmm. is Friday morning, March thirtieth. Wow, the thirtieth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. And um, as you can tell, in our last real-time update, we were in Las Vegas dealing with engine issues. We've traveled uh, a little ways since then. It's been well, it's been a week, too, yeah. a little over a week too. So uh, we we booked it home. We got home in three days, and we saw zero engine problems the entire you know, way. You know, it was really crazy. We had that one night at the Elks Lodge where we actually just. Plugged the rig in. The first time we plugged into a post in like 60 days, 60 days, 60 nights, whatever it was. The next day we woke up and there just wasn't a problem with the motorhome. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was a low battery voltage. I, I don't know. But that's going to lead me into maybe checking all the grounds and actually taking the chassis batteries out and load testing them and making sure they're in good shape. So. That'll be a project here in the very near future. Yep, but we had a really great drive home. Uh, yeah. It took us two overnights to make it back to we, Eastern Washington. We really pushed hard. We had one big day from almost south of Boise to, to home and over 500 miles. So one of the reasons why we came home is because there's always, always projects to take care of around the house. Uh, and also, we are part of our, actually we run a community club within our community here and for the past, I don't know what's been, 25, 30 years or something like that, the community club has hosted this Easter egg hunt. Yeah, in the last four years I've been very involved with the community club and have taken over the role mm -hmm. of the Easter egg hunt. So we needed to be home by last weekend to stuff over 4,000 eggs. It's a big Easter egg hunt. <laughs> it is, but it was fabulous. We got the word out in time this year. Mm -hmm. We had so many volunteers arrive and help us stuff. A lot of the high schoolers. So a lot of us adult volunteers, we got to take a break last week. It was weekend. kind of nice just to observe the, 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 the kids play with the candy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but tomorrow morning we have our actual hunt. Uh, where the, all the community kids come out and you know, it's over before it starts. It goes super quick. Yeah. Another reason why we come home, <coughs> we have to adult. The, yeah, there's this little thing that, that the federal government likes everybody to pay. And yeah, it's taxes. Uncle Sam's tax season. Mm -hmm. We also use this time to uh, take care of our house mm -hmm. and our yard, mm -hmm. spring cleanup. Gary, I haven't seen him the past week. I've been gone. But this, I haven't left the property. No, this is why we're doing this video at 7.50 in the morning. Because at about 8 o'clock, our friend Jeff shows up and I lose him to the yard. Yeah, yeah. since Monday I've been working in the yard. Uh, we, we've got a little mini excavator. We're um, building rock retaining walls and, and um, improving existing retaining walls and, and, and just developing a master plan for our backyard. Uh, so we can enjoy it more when we're home because right now or the past three years It's just been a pile of, well not a pile of dirt, but just been pretty much a pile of dirt dirt Yeah, and nothing finished yet. So we're working on that and and um, You know also working on the winter breakup and you know I gotta get the water going and the sprinklers going and this and that so um, There's always stuff to do in the springtime when we come home We find it's probably the best time to come home to take care of all that yeah. and then one other little new thing not never not really a new thing on the list but something that we don't normally do and all of you will benefit from right um, I've been actually working pretty hard on putting together a um, solar package for my dad 
And actually yesterday I just ordered everything he's gonna need for his solar install and we're gonna do that and we're gonna video that for you all so you can take a look and see how uh, we installed that solar system on his fifth wheel. Yep, they have a 2013 uh, Berkshire Coachman fifth wheel, I believe. I think that's right. Uh, Brookstone. Brookstone. And uh, so Gary, it's gonna be very similar to the Hebrids install. Mm -hmm. uh, and Gary's gonna do all that along with his dad helping. Yep. And we're gonna <coughs> video the entire process and give you another look at a solar install. Right, and I'll, I'll be able to give you a parts list, a breakdown of, of what we purchased, and, and I'm gonna try to put down a wiring diagram and all that kind of stuff too. So we'll have a bunch of uh, other items to go with the video so you can get a better idea of how to install your own system. So stay tuned for that. That will be coming uh, near the end of April. Yes. And with that, our Alaska series is almost done. We right. are currently We're almost home, right? <laughs> in we're currently in British Columbia in the series. This was back in uh, about September. September 10th. So we only have six days left on the road. Uh, that will translate to probably about four or five more videos. Mm -hmm. um, so with that, with Alaska and the actual trip being done, our content is going to greatly change. Right. And I want to ask you, our Powana Ohana, what do you want to see from us moving forward uh, with our video content? Now, we've been noticing a trend lately when we're talking about our boondocking tips and tricks. Right. Those videos yeah, are doing excellent. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to still stick with the format on mm -hmm. Mondays, doing a, um, a maintenance series, mm -hmm. helping you out, tips and tricks, etc. Wednesdays are going to still stick with our Wonderless Wednesday where we focus on travels. We still have uh, Hawaii to cover that we visited in December as well as our trip down south that we just got home well, and there's, from. There's also quite a bit of other just extra video that we've done while home and this and that yeah. too on our, on our previous home stints. And then we still would like to interact with you guys and do a live video once a week if possible. And we're trying to balance which night is better for you right. all, either Thursday nights or Friday nights. And we used to always do a Friday night chat, but I'm almost thinking maybe we move that to Thursday because it's getting to be spring. People are, People getting, are getting active, busy, busy. they're getting out, yeah. and we want to be able to interact with you guys. So down below in the comments, uh, if you're watching this on a Roku or something like that, uh, go to your computer, look us up on YouTube, leave us a comment down below and let us know um, what kind of content you want to see from mm -hmm. us. So yes, for the next five weeks, we are going to be here at our sticks and bricks. Mm -hmm. So we won't always have access to the motorhome. So we may be doing some studio uh, videos yeah. such as this that we can discuss with you our top tens mm -hmm. and things like that. So let us know what you want to see from us down below. That would be great. We'd love to hear from you guys. And our long range plans, they've slightly changed. Well, yeah, with, with, the, uh, with being added to the RV Nomads movie cast, now we, uh, <clears throat> our directions have changed a little bit. So we're gonna head down to Texas in May and, and probably stay south most of the summer and into the winter and head towards Florida. Yeah, so it's looking like, so filming starts in Wellington, Texas in the middle of May. So we're gonna be down in that area uh, for about a month doing filming. And then we're gonna follow production mm -hmm. over to New Mexico and Colorado for most of the summer to beat the Texas heat. That'd be nice to be up in the mountains. Yeah, and Colorado. In Colorado, I oh mean, my gosh. It's beautiful. Well, New Mexico's amazing too. Yeah. So it's, just, it's gonna be a It'll great It'll be area. nice to go back to. Yes. <clears throat> and then we need to be back in Wellington in October for Nomad Fest. And remember, if you haven't seen, we are offering a 10% mm -hmm. discount code to join us and be our guest at Nomad Fest. I'll put the code down below, but you can go and register and get 10% off your registration. That's a pretty decent little saving. It is. Yeah, it, anything helps. We know, does. we understand that. And that way you can camp with us in Wellington uh, at the festival, uh -huh. get to know us and the other cast members. We have a great cast 
um, uh, friends, really, yeah. and family. Yep. And then after the film festival, then we are going to be heading east. Originally, we thought we were going to go up to the northeast, but uh, it will be almost November by that point, and the weather is no not sense. worth it. No sense in heading north at that point. So we will <clears> be <throat> spending our winter in uh, the Carolinas, Georgia, Georgia and Florida. Florida. Florida, Georgia line kind of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so that's our long-term um, forecast. And then, of course, we're going to come home forecast? for next... Yeah, our forecast. forecast. Okay, that's cool. Uh, we're going to come home in the spring and do our spring cleanup, adult taxes, all that fun stuff. Mm -hmm. And then we are headed again north, north to, to Alaska. Alaska. With a whole bunch of people. Yeah, Woo! we're going to have gonna be a, big group. a pretty good caravan of friends and family going with yes, us. Yes, it'll be a lot of fun. But we just want to say thank you for hanging tight with us while we're uh, doing spring maintenance here. <laughs> At we, our home yeah. base. We haven't been able to keep up on our, on our schedule as much as we normally would like to because of all the stuff we're taking care of. But uh, we want to catch up and we want to hear from you. So once again, what do you, wanna, what do you want us to uh, show you? What kind of content do you want? And also, uh, what, do you, what day do you want the live? On Thursday or on Friday? Let, it, let us know in the comments down below and we'll make it work for you. Also, another thing, uh, I had a viewer this morning send us an email and they said they watch on uh, their television and they really enjoy our, our, um, our content, but they said maybe suggest to people to go to your computer and hit that subscribe right, button. Right, because a lot of times when you're watching your TV, your smart TV devices or something like that, the, you, you they don't... They make it difficult. Yeah, you can't see all the comments. You have to actually go to your computer or your phone and and make it to the comments so so do that for us if you could yeah That'd be great. please go hit that subscribe button and right next to it there's a little bell click that little bell and whenever we post a new video or we go live you'll be notified in your email box mm -hmm. letting you know that uh, we've posted new content we just want to say thank you for being a part of our Pauhana ohana we really enjoy having you a part of our family and you know until next time. Stay tuned, guys. Yeah, stay tuned. A lot more fun. Pow Hana. Mm -hmm. See you down the road. As always, if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up down below. Leave us a comment and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. We thank you for watching. Until next time, Pow Hana. Hana.